How's it everyone? So this video is going to be just a little bit different. I recently got a new guitar and I am very stoked about it. I redid the whole thing and I filmed the entire process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to review the footage of me working on the guitar and I'm just going to do some basic narration and kind of walk you guys through what went into it. I think it came out, in my opinion, it came out really good. Um, it's, it's something that I've always wanted to do for the longest time since I've been playing guitar. Enjoy. So beginning off here, this is the before. I took this video, uh, probably I think it was the day that I actually got the guitar and uh, I just wanted it to give it a nice video so that you could see every detail exactly how it looked beforehand before I started doing anything to it. Um, as you can see it's a natural wood finish and it's got a ridiculously thick clear coat on it which I knew was going to cause me problems to sand it down because upon buying it I thought to myself I'm either going to make it black or I'm going to stain it um, with black but eventually I just decided to go with red um, but yeah I'll, I'll you'll see later so this is basically uh, me stripping the whole guitar down this is actually the first time I'm doing something like this I've never actually opened up a guitar and you know saw it was on the inside how the wires work and how everything comes together to make an electric guitar but yeah as you can see I'm very much inspecting trying to see what the hell is going on um, I eventually got most of the parts off with and it's actually very easy it's it's very simple uh, yeah just the good old doggos in this section where I'm basically burying my face into the cables, I'm trying to figure out exactly what goes where and how the cables should flow to each part. I eventually just left a little piece of wire on each side so that I know exactly where each one should go. So I got the pickups out and as you can see here, yeah, there was one specific wire that was just, I don't know, for some reason I could not figure out what the hell it was for. So you can see the sanding adventure start. Um, everyone told me, get, get a very high grit, start slow and just take it easy. And uh, yeah, that is the worst advice um, because I don't think anyone actually knew how bad the clear coat is, how, how thick it really is on this guitar. So as you can see, I got the block out, trying my best to just sand it down um, while still being very careful. Uh, this is the first sanding session. I was so proud of myself. I thought, okay, cool, this is not going to take too long. It's probably going to be like a few hours of sanding and I'll be done. But uh, yeah, that was not the case. I eventually gave up on sanding with hand and I got myself a little mouse sander. It's actually a complete piece of shit and it doesn't really, it, it didn't do anything. Um, I tried using higher grits, lower grits, everything, but just nothing wanted to work efficiently. Um, as I said, I, I quickly discovered that this was going to take me much longer. Um, yeah, I eventually tried getting paint stripper because someone suggested try using paint stripper. I mean, it's a clear coat, surely it'll work. I tried it, I put it on, I sanded, I used the blade to, you know, get it off. That, that just stuck man it did not want to go anywhere so after you know struggling forever and ever I basically just decided to one of my buddies um, had a lot of free time on his hands that's another reason this project took so long um, I did not have a lot of free time to actually you know take the time to work through all the steps of sanding it down and my patience was very thin I, I frankly I was over it I was almost at the point of just giving up and just you know leaving it be one of the projects that's just never going to be anything um, so I eventually got a friend of mine to just sand it down for me I paid him and I don't know what he did but he did an amazing job and this is how it looks after he sanded it now the fun part was going to come and that was to actually stain the guitar and yeah, you can see me 
very cautiously doing it. It's also the first time staining with a rag. I've stained, uh, you know, wood before with a brush, and honestly, with a rag, it's just so much easier. It, it made the job quicker. It, it felt more satisfying, and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed the staining part because for the first time now, I could see, you know, what I had envisioned this whole time actually, you know, come to life. I ended up buying an off-the-shelf shade of red. I got it from a local paint specialist shop and I, it was honestly, it, it was so cheap and I was not sure how much I was going to need or exactly, just exactly how the color was going to look on the guitar. But all in all, um, you know, once I saw the stain spread onto the guitar so easily, I, I was instantly sold by the color. After I had applied two coats of the stain, the color was a little bit too dark for me initially. So I took a rag with some turpentine and basically just spread the turpentine everywhere around the stain to try and get some of the darkness out and also just to seal the wood a little bit more to prepare it for the waxing stage. So this is basically what it looked like after I applied the turps. The color was not exactly what I wanted it to be going into it, but I must say it honestly, it, it grew on to me. The last step on the finish side of the guitar was to give it a nice wax. And this was honestly just the part that was stressing me out the most because this was going to be the thing that makes or breaks the final look as well as the actual feel that the body of the guitar is going to have. I ended up just using a basic furniture wax. It worked wonders. Um, one of my friends actually suggested it it came out even better than I ever imagined. The only thing that I knew for sure was I did not want any form of gloss. I wanted it to be matte. So that was the most important part for me. And I ended up giving it three coats of the furniture wax. And I think it just came out beautiful, better than I had ever imagined. Um, and I really would never have thought that a interior furniture wax would do such a good job of sealing and kind of just bringing everything together. So by now a few months had passed and I was very excited but at the same time anxious to see what the guitar would look like once I assembled it. So I met up with a buddy of mine and he helped me with some of the wiring and I put back some of the parts just to give myself an idea and what I saw was amazing. I was very excited. The last step would be basically to replace all of the silver hardware for black hardware and then it would be finished.
So yeah, guys, that was it. Um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it if you are still here right at the end watching this video. Um, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, as I said, and I'm just so glad I finally could make it happen. I could make the dream become a reality. So thank you for everyone involved. Thank you for all the friends who gave me advice and who helped me through the process. And also thank you to the guitar luthier who, uh, who did a professional setup on my guitar. It plays better than any of the other guitars I've ever had. And I don't think I will ever go back to playing guitars that I've set up myself. So yeah, thank you very much for that. I'm sure you'll see this guitar in a lot of covers going forward. So yeah, until then, cheers guys.